hi it's a beautiful monday in today's video i'm going to show you how to create you know a wedding jota in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so here are the pictures that we are going to make use of so this is the image that we are going to use for this project and all of this is going to be at the comment section below to download so that i can follow through on how to create that you know so without further ado let's step into it so right now what we're going to do next is to go over how to uh you know <coughs> and change it to a f5 which is the normal size of jota so right now what you're going to do is to double click on rectangular to automatically snap into page so right now we are going to create a basement of what we are going to be doing now so what we're going to do right now is to make a copy you know drag it in word just like this then you right click automatically copy paste then so right click to uh convert locate you know convert to call click on that automatically it goes so right now what we're going to do is to use your uh, shape tool select shape tool then you drag this node right here good so what we are going to be doing next is to uh, make a copy of that center it within that then you uh <coughs> you know drag this up just like so then you hold control your keyboard then you tap on page down automatically snap behind that so what we are going to do right now is to uh hit on our shape tool then this node right here you know hold control key on your keyboard then you drag to the uh drag just like this can you see that that's the outcome so what we are going to do right now is to make a copy of this you know uh you know image locate your shape tool then you range from below then you pull pull it up just like so good so right now we're going to do let's pull it up a bit good so right now we're going to do is to go over and convert that to bitmap convert it to bitmap it's okay so right now we're going to do is to power clip this into place Power clip, select the image, go over to object, locate, power clip, then click on power clip inside frame, then select the frame. Automatically stamp into that. So what you're gonna do next is to hold out key or keyboard to select the image, release your out key, then adjust you know the image just like so. Good. So right now the next step right now is to change this to white then let's give the background a little bit of uh, uh this color let's sample the color right from here you know sample this color then you pour it on the background good so right now the next step right now is to power clip the main picture into uh the uh object so right right now we're going to do select the picture locate object on the menu then you locate power clip then place inside frame then you select the frame which you want to power clip into so automatically snap right inside the frame so right now what you're going to do is to hold out key then select the picture make it bigger then you adjust it just like so good so right now what we're going to do is to select this you know two object that we created let's pull it down a bit good that's good so the next step right now is to uh <coughs> let's type celebration of love celebration celebration of love so right now what you're going to do what you are going to do is to change the font size to a low paris then you make it a little bit bigger so change it to white good so right now the next step right now i think we will need to rearrange this but let's leave that <coughs> for now so what we are going to do right now is to Control K to break the uh, test into pieces. Then, you know, pull this up to this place. Then change it to white. 
so right now we are going to do is to hit hold control and keyboard and hit k to break that into pieces then you change the font to a look paris good so right now change uh that ray into the same font then you make it a little bit bigger likewise this as well good so right now let's move it closer to each other then you right click on white to make the outline of the text a little bit thicker then hit f12 to uh, make the outline a, a little bit thicker let's make it two so right now select behind view to scale a scale with object then you click on this you know automatically you know it thickens so right now what i'm going to do is to create a love you know symbol so right now what i'm going to do is to locate your what's it called locate your brazier tool then you select then you you know <coughs> drag down then you select another dot go over again to click to finish all up you know to the top so right now what you are going to do is to you know locate the shape to right click on the line i click on the line then you change it to curve so right now what we're going to do is to pull this up a bit then you pull this angle you know outward just like so good so right now what we are going to do is to make a copy of this layer to the other side you know point your mouse to the head of the uh you know object then you hold control key on keyboard to slide to the other side when you get to the other side you right click automatically it copy paste then you slide it to then you word it all up so right now what you're going to do is to make a copy you know him word just like so then you select the two together again you hit on control l to combine good so right now what you're going to do is to change this font to a low paris good that's good so let's slant this a little bit good can you see that so right now let's make it a little bit smaller a bit smaller then position that up good good so so right now what we're going to do is to select the whole thing go it all up then you go over out here you know uh what's it called shadow to let's give it a shadow then let's make it uh darker i see it's okay then you go over to this place let's make it seven it's okay good so go over to object you know break shadow into uh shadow apart then you group it all up together again good so right now what we are going to do is to change this to a uh, trigen then you make it a little bit smaller so right now it's your shape tool to then you increase the tracking just like so so center it within that good so right now the next step right now is to make a copy of this layer to the other side then you extract the content delete that content right click locate you know a frame type then you hit on remove frame so good so what we are going to do right now is to bring in you know this you know uh the dates so right now what we're going to do is to uh pull this you know on top of this object just like so change it to white then you go over to enter from here enter from here good then you bold in let's bold in the uh, 20 short in the Saturday good so right now we're going to do each shape to then you reduce the tracking just like so good so right now what I'm going to do is to give it a left you know right alignment then pull it up a bit then let's create a line you know create a line just like so then you hit f12 a dollar bar pops up then change it to one so let's make the line dotted line 
it's on that then you hit ok automatically it changes so make a couple of this slide it up just like so by holding control key on your keyboard down then you drag just like so when you get to the destination you right click then you copy paste good can you see that so right now the next step is to uh copy this layer right here then let's extract, extract the content the later content right click then locate you know frame type remove uh, frame so right now what I'm going to do is to make a copy of this you know downward just like so position that just like so good so right now select the whole thing let's reduce that good make it a little bit bigger so what we are going to do right now is to power clip this picture into place power clip then you power clip this as well to the other side good so let's adjust hold alt key on keyboard select the picture then you make it bigger position that good good so select this position it downward good so let's select the whole thing then you power clip into this object so hold out key release out key then you adjust your picture just like so good so right now the next step right now is to uh, is to create you know what we call you know let's type you know something uh you're welcome type thanks for coming thanks for coming coming so what we're gonna do right now is to break that by holding con control and keyboard then hit k to break the test into pieces then you select your shape tool to reduce the tracking just like so then you position this uh, in between this place good so right now let's select the whole thing then make it a little bit bigger position it right here good can you see the outcome right now so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you know uh when uh any video is coming up so that you'll be prompted that uh something has been dropped in a channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now so Bye for now. See you some other time.